Hello and thank you for clicking on this video. So today I'm going to be showing you around uh, the little house that I bought and I just want to preface this by saying that this house is very much just moved into, um, nothing's done at all, bit of a mess, bit all over the place, not very aesthetic in places. Um, so I just wanted to uh, give a brief disclaimer really. Um, we've been trying to focus on getting the downstairs sorted, um, so that's been the main kind of priority, but the upstairs is a little bit of a chaotic situation. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoy this video and let's just get straight into it. So when you first come into the house, there is a tiny little entryway, but it is just such a mess in there. It's just stacks of bags and stuff. No one wants to see that. Um, so this is the first room that you come into after that, which is the kitchen, obviously. And um, this has been painted, um, Andy painted this a nice light green, and you'll see that's kind of a theme throughout the house. Basically, we just went crazy with the green and made everything green, but why not? I like green. And the theme I've tried to, I'm trying to go for in this kitchen is kind of like cottage, witch, farmhouse, English country vibes. Um, so like a lot of woodland animals and nature things and quite like light and soft. Um, so I'll just give you a little show around and you'll see that there is still a little bit of um, a chaotic situation going on over here. So here we have these two ginormous boxes which are going to be leaving very soon. And this side of the kitchen, we have the oven and uh, the fridge and the little cupboard and things like that. Um, so this oven is a range master, and I'll be honest, I still don't really know what I'm doing with it. I'm trying my best to get it to work. Um, but yeah, it's a work in progress. <laughs> and um, we've got um, little animals and things. Um, rabbits and chickens and all that kind of thing I thought would be cute for this vibe and um, one of the things I really love about this kitchen is that it's actually got a shelf um it's got its own little mantelpiece <laughs> um so at the moment I've just got some gnomes uh lavender sage uh, a little teapot and things like that oh and some mushrooms um you'll notice as well gnomes are a really big theme throughout my house I feel really I've always feel really drawn to like the household spirit uh, especially in the winter as well so that's kind of my way of uh keeping keeping it in front of mind um and the fridge as well has got all of our granny magnets on <laughs> from all the little trips that we've taken and um castles and things like that um, and then just moving around, this is where the kettle and the toaster and everything is as well. Um, I've got a little vision for this cupboard where I want to remove the door and have all jars going all the way up and have it be like a bit of an apothecary. Um, so lots of different herbs and teas and um, like really nice and healing. So that's what I'm going to do in there. Um, it's a bit of a work in progress at the moment, um, but that's going to be what's going on in there. Um, and then this is this is kind of like the tea station, or like the coffee station. Um, got like a billion <laughs> types of tea and mugs and things in here as well, um, which definitely need to be organised. Um, down here it's pretty boring. It's just like knives and forks and things. Got the pans in there as well. Um, and then this side of the kitchen I really like as well. Um, because I really just love this like giant farmhouse style sink. I think it's really cute. Um, this door's a little bit wonky, but we'll sort that out. Um, watch your machines in there. Um, and yeah, more of this kind of woodland uh, animal vibe um, matching the green. Um, I do have a hope and a dream to have this full of flowers all the time. Um, that happened once. Um, so the dream has not been realised as of yet, but that is the goal. So I would like to keep this with fresh flowers all the time. It'll be really, really beautiful. Um, then just the spice rack, some jars, but a dish and that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, that is the kitchen. Now I'm going to take you into my favourite room of the house, which is the living room. And this is the one that we've definitely done the most work on. Um, it's still not done at all, as you'll see from paint splotches on the walls and things like that. But this is definitely the one that we've tried to make a nice little spot um, where even if everything else is a bit chaotic, we can kind of chill here at the end of the day. So this is what you see when you come into the living room. And my favourite part of this house, which is the fireplace, um, it's 
one of the things that just took my breath away when I first saw this house and the fire was roaring and I just thought it was the coziest thing ever um, and what we've done is painted this wall a dark green a um, bit of a bold move but it does match the sofa which I'll show you in just a sec um, some room for the wood I need to fill this one up as well um, some blankets and the TV stand and things which were actually really kindly left to us by the previous owners. Um, it is Christmas at the moment so there's a few bits of Christmas decor. Um, as you can see we've got more of the, the gnomes and things. I have a thing for gnomes. Um, and this um, is just some cupboards but the doors I think are just really beautiful. And even the doors to the rooms as well. I get like, it just every time I, I open it I want to say Alohomora. <laughs> Um, and this is the Christmas tree. So I try to decorate the tree kind of a bit more natural and earthy because that's that's what I like to do and cover it with animals and uh, pine cones and bits of nature and then some sentimental ornaments as well, uh, snowflakes and things like that. Um, Got to have the goddess there as well. Um, so that is the Christmas tree. It is a real Christmas tree and we managed to find a Christmas tree farm literally in walking distance. Um, so it was, it's really special that this is from like so close by. Um, and then here we've got, uh, bookshelves. So I'm having a bit of a dilemma about the bookshelves because my goal for this room is to turn it into like a dark castle library vibes. <laughs> um, so what I was thinking was on this side of the room with the fireplace, we could put some shelves in the little alcove and perhaps remove these top doors and put bookshelves there as well because I've got a lot of books and I thought why don't I have this bookshelf dedicated to non-fiction books but then I realized that I don't actually have enough non-fiction books to fill everything um so this is this is what we're doing at the moment and I'm still trying to figure out exactly just what to do with everything um questionable god is love art from the uh, charity shop i did a bit of hunting for some frames because i want to make a bit of a gallery wall next to the big mirror um, and put some some pretty things there so that's something that's a work in progress and then in here we do have a very much harry potter-esque cupboard under the stairs um all cupboardy things in here and uh, it does have its own light as well so as you can see, there's a lot of storage going on in here at the moment, um, but it is quite spacious and the woman who worked here told me that she actually used to sit at this desk there and work. Um, so yeah, it's quite spacious and uh, yeah, all the shelves and things as well. Stationery, paper, all the good stuff. Um, a lot of the decor is still in here as well um, that I haven't had the chance to organise yet. And here you can see the sofa with the wall. Um, so yeah, green vibes <laughs> yet again. And this sofa is from Sophology. It was a very big investment, um, but I wanted to get something high quality and then it could last forever, basically. I didn't want to just uh, keep buying cheap things that I needed to get over and over again. So I thought, eek, let's, um, let's make a big investment in this sofa. And I love it. I absolutely love it. I actually debate sleeping on it sometimes when the fire is lit because it's just so huge and warm and lovely. Um, and then this is the coffee table, which is from Funky Chunky Furniture, um, which is a handmade furniture company. And um, really, really love it. So that is the living room. And I'm going to take you through to the kind of conservatory at the back, um, which is a close tie for my favourite room as well. I really love this one. So from the living room, you can open this door and uh, just excuse the mess in here as well. But this is the conservatory and we've got the piano in here. We've got this lovely dining table, which was actually left for us as well. Really grateful for that. Um, we've got the, the old sofa. Um, it just didn't, it didn't look good in that living room at all because it's more of a square. Um, this beautiful tapestry, which is actually based on my brother's art. Um, it's just absolutely stunning. And uh, we've got the walk-in treadmill here, which is a bit of a lifesaver. Some plants that desperately need a drink. And one of the selling points of this house that really just won my heart is this view. Um, it's just absolutely 
beautiful <laughs> all the time and we are in winter now so we do get quite a lot of snow here um, it just started a couple of days ago and we've got this um, deck in here and it's so quiet and peaceful And the garden down there is not absolutely massive, but I think it's the perfect size for just me getting to grips with gardening, pottering around, growing things. Um, so I'm really excited to get out there in the spring and I'll definitely be documenting that as well. And this is where I've been working. And to be honest with you, I'm kind of I'm a bit nervous about moving to my office when that's done because I've really, I've really loved working here. Just looking out at this view all the time and just stepping outside. Um, as often as I can. It's been really, really nice. Um, but yeah, that is the conservatory. Now we're going to get into a little bit of mayhem because we're going upstairs <laughs> into the places that have not been sorted out yet, that are not aesthetically pleasing. So this is a real person's house after they moved in. Uh, just be aware of that. <laughs> and uh, yeah. So first of all, we've got another cupboard here, and this is where a lot of my books are hiding at the moment. Um, yeah, really want to get them out and put them on a shelf ASAP. Um, then we go up the stairs, and these stairs are definitely in need of a replacement. They're a bit filthy now, and um, we caused a bit of mess when we knocked down a wall in this room. Um, so this is two rooms here. This one is going to be Andy's music studio. Um, so he's going to give this a nice makeover and have all his music -y things here. And this one through here is going to be my office. Um, so again, I painted it green because apparently I just can't stop painting things green. And um, I'm going to just be sitting here at my desk working. Um, and although I love the shape of this desk and everything, I would like it to be all natural woods and things but I'm not just gonna buy a new desk until this one breaks you know um, it's a bit it's a bit wasteful it's a really good desk there's nothing wrong with it um, so I'm just gonna keep that one here and this room is gonna get a makeover really soon and um, something I want to do is make a gallery wall here as well and just have a lot of really beautiful art I'll do a video um, of a kind of makeover of this room and getting everything sorted because then I'll be working in here. Um, yeah, if we come back out through here, then we go to the bathroom, um, which I really love this room as well. It's really beautiful. Um, the only thing is that I find it really, really hard to wash my hair in this bath. Um, so I do want to get a bit of like a shower conversion going and um, keep this bath because it's beautiful. Um, but yeah, do something to it so that we can shower because <laughs> um, it is quite difficult. Um, but yeah, that's it really. Not much to, to say about the bathroom. And the bedroom, which is very ugly at the moment. But again, all of this wood furniture was left by the previous owner. And it's really, really sturdy, really good quality. Um, got a gnome blanket because it's freezing at the moment. And uh, the my favourite thing about this bedroom is... Again, it's got this beautiful view out of there, which is just absolutely stunning. Um, right at the right at the bottom of the bed. Um, and we did a bit of DIY in here, which actually worked. Um, and because it's got this quite big cupboard, um, we wanted to put some rails up because I've got quite a lot of jackets, to be honest. Um, so put some organization in here to store as many things as possible, um, obviously. There's still a little bit of a mess there, um, but that's easily sorted. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking for this room, make it very like warm browns and greens and things like that. Again, with the greens. I'm not going to paint this one green though, I promise. Um, but yeah, that is this room. So there you have it. That is the finished house tour and I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, a little bit of a different one, but um, I did get quite a few requests for this uh, on Instagram. So I thought I would do a video and just show you around. Um, obviously it's still quite chaotic and there's paint splotches on walls and all that kind of thing. Um, but we've lived here for about a month now. Um, so I think we're making good progress. 
and uh, really, really enjoying living here so far. And I'm feeling really grateful as well. Uh, just feel so much gratitude every single day. And um, I'm really enjoying winter here. And I really hope you're enjoying winter too. And you are remembering to slow down out of all the craziness that kind of can be thrust upon you at the season. And you're remembering to just take a lot of nice walks outside and cozy nights in and lots of cups of tea and soup and all those lovely wintry things and really just slowing down and reflecting for the new year because that's what this time of year should be about. Lots of rest. Uh, so don't feel pressured to get sw swept up and everything. But yeah, um, let me know in the comments if there's anything else you want to see or hear about. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day, whatever you're doing.